Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, as Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way. It's Fox Sports, BBC, pay-per-view, and it's all brought to you by MGM Resorts, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and Lucas Oil. And we extend a very special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us tonight on AFN, the American Forces Network. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, Rudy Barragan, Max DeLuca, and Alejandro Rochin. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a welterweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, hailing from Covina, California. He weighed in at 146 and one quarter pounds. His record, 30 wins, eight losses, 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the hard-hitting and exciting battle-ready contender. Introducing the gladiator, John Molina Jr. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with multi-color trim, fighting out of and representing Riverside, California. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. His record stands at 36 wins, eight losses, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the world-ranked welterweight contender, known as the Riverside Rocky. Cecito Lopez. And introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge, Ray Corona. This is good right here. This is good right here. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. God bless. John Molina Jr. Josecito Lopez on Fox pay-per-view scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. Former sparring partners Molina telling us yesterday Lopez resembles me. He's everything I am. He has heart and a never say die attitude. Junior and Lopez. Two California natives finally in the ring together. Molina telling us it will be a feeling out process at the start. This fight has been a long time coming. Oh, Molina staggered by Lopez. Down he goes. Just 30 seconds in. Let me tell you, that was a great right hand. And, I, you know, I think everybody was looking for the Seven. left hook. I told you yesterday this could be a one-round fight or a ten-round brawl. And because John's defense is a slow starter, he's got his left hand down real low. Lopez has got the better defense. Let's see if Molina can recover. He's been known to do that. He did that against Red, against Red Catch. He had uh, Molina down once or twice, and Molina came back to knock him out. Ooh. It was a good left hook by Molina, but, uh, you know, Jose Cito's got very accurate punches. He's got that great left hook. He showed a great right hand there, but uh, Molina's got to keep that defense tight if he wants to stay in this fight. He's got that chin up and his hands down right now. Midway through round one, scheduled for 10. Molina has already gone down early in this bout. Not a big fan of that left low hand of John Molina's right now, especially when you've been blocked by that right hand. There's no reason to keep it down that low. Get it up. There's that right hand by Molina. See, he's got power. He's, he's a home run hitter. He's not a base hit hitter. And when he lacks in defense, he makes up for in power. Molina telling us yesterday, I hit much harder than Lopez. Oh. oh, another right by Lopez. Staggered Molina. Oh, oh 
Yeah. Molina in trouble. Big trouble right now. So look at Molina slinging for the fences right now. He, he needs to bring his head up because, you know, when you put his head down there in one position, it makes it for an easy target. Down goes Molina for the second time here in round one. Ooh. Looked like he got hit with a liver shot, and that's, yeah, that's uh, Jose Cito's one of his best Six. punches. Seven. He better get up if he wants to stay in this he fight. He can't do it. He cannot get oh, up. Wait a minute. He got up. He got up. He's wavy on his legs. He's wavy on his legs. One more time. Here we go. One more time down, the ref said. Molina knocked down twice here in the first round by Lopez. Oh, good left hook and right hand by Molina. No, he got thrown down there. He got thrown down there. Well, Molina's fighting back. Yes, he is. Brave, Danny. Brave. Brave. Huh? Brave. Brave. If you're not going to hands, you're not going to stop it. Okay? Danny, you need to. You need to let your hands go, Danny. Right and left. Hey, you are close to catch him right now. Okay. Come on, you're dead, you're dead. How do you feel? And here you see the first knockdown. Great right hand by Lopez. Here's more, Johnny. Right here. Catches Molina right on his jaw. And here it comes. Boom. Right hand. Left hook. Yeah, and here comes the second one. There's that right uppercut that missed. The left hook touches, but there's the liver shot. That's the one that snuck in and put Molina down. Sometimes you can recover from a head shot easier than a body shot. And here we go. Molina came back. He landed that left hook, and here's a right hand. Bam. You know, Molina's a big hitter. Now, he, he missed that one right, right there, that big left hook. But I got to tell you, if Molina can make it through this next round, he's got a chance. But he's got to make it through this one. All right, here we go. Round two. Lopez knocking down Molina twice in the first round. Punches landed, 23 by Lopez. Molina just nine. Oh, big right by Lopez. Well, Molina got used to taking the punches. He absorbed that one pretty good, and that was a big, big right hand he just got hit with. But yeah. He's got that left hand so low, it's so dangerous. It's not the way I ever trained him, and I never liked that style for John Molina. It's almost like he's waiting and kind of baiting his opponent in to throw that right hand. But uh, he, yeah. you know, Lopez threw the right hand, but he didn't move his head out of the way. But to have your hand down low, you got to be a good counter puncher. See, he's not able to whip that hook when that right hand's coming, which you would normally do when you got your left hand down like that. He just doesn't have the counter punching abilities. I liked it better when Molina kept his hands up and was a pressure fighter. I think it'd be, it was much safer for him. But he doesn't have the reflexes uh, to protect himself like there. He just got hit with another right hand. Yeah. But look at that. <sighs> Came back. This is this is the Molina that I know though. He can come back. He's got guts. He's tough. Yeah. And he can hit. Well, he just hit Lopez with a great combination right there. Three punches. Well, he's got the Rocky trunks on right now, so let's see <laughs> if he can pull a Rocky off here because he's, he's going to need uh, all the help he can get. Midway through round two. Now, Joe, you trained Sergey Lippin yet. He was scheduled to face Molina back in July. And uh, was that one of your key points to Sergey regarding that uh, left hand of Molina that he keeps down low? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, look, uh, I, I, like I said, if John Molina got hit with another right hand right there, uh, He's just not a boxer. He's, 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 he's more of a pressure fighter. He's strong. He should be marching forward. If he would have kept his hand down like that with Lipinitz, I, I think we would have scored a right hand, too, just like Jose Cito. So, um, but again, he just doesn't have the reflexes for, for that counter left hook or right counter after the right hand is thrown by Lopez. He's, every time Lopez throws a right hand, he lands it like that, right there. What's impressed you, Lennox, about Lopez so far? Lopez, what he's doing is, you know, his poise. He's not really rushing back in there and trying to uh, get rid of Molina straight away. He's taking his time. He's going back to the combinations that were working for him, and he's, you know, he's expanding upon them. 15 seconds remaining in round two. Good jab by Molina.
Johnny. The main problem is that you let the guy throw first. Okay, you go and do it. You go and get him. Okay, is it all right? Yeah. Johnny. Johnny. Give me a dry towel. Don't let him. Give me a dry towel. Okay. You're sitting too much. Yeah, you're waiting, John. That's, a, that's, a, that's the only problem. Okay. Once you leave, he's afraid of you. Well, here we go. Here's that right hand. It's got inevitably going to come right there. Boom. And his corner is telling him just a second ago, you're waiting too much. He is waiting too much. Here we go. Here's another look. A little faint and a little right hand. Molina drops his hands. Boom, right on the button. Okay, but here's 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 Molina's guts and, and power, Lennox. Yeah. This is where this is where, where Molina actually comes back. He's wide against time. He comes out with a powerful right hook. And the left hook catches Lopez on the chin. You know, just when you think Molina's done, he's not. Exactly, good call. We begin round three. Kenny Albert, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, and Heidi Androl from Staples Center in Los Angeles. Our main event coming up later tonight. Unification bout of the welterweight division, Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter. Josecito Lopez knocked down John Molina twice in the first round. Oh, left by Lopez there. And so Robert Alcazar in the corner uh, of John Molina told him, you're waiting too much, you're waiting too much. I would have also told him, keep that left hand up more. He told him to use the jab, which he's got to do. He's using it right there. You should explain to the uh, listeners what being first means well, as being, a trainer. Yeah, well, being, you could have done that just as easy as that. <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, being first is exactly what it implies. You know, don't wait around. You're letting the other guy get off first, and then by the time he gets a first jab off on you, he's delivering that second punch, that right hand. You're letting him get off first instead of taking the play away from him and the action away from him by you taking the the uh, the initiative and letting your hands go before your opponent. Right, but he he seems like he wants to. Uh, I'm talking to Lena. He's been he's being a counter puncher right now. No, but he's not a counter puncher. I have, I've trained John for over six years. He's not a counter puncher. He's he's a home run hitter. And I used to have John press. I had him in a tight package, and I made him press and move guys backwards, but all with his hands up and his chin down. This this style just doesn't suit him well as we've seen so far, but doesn't mean that John Molina can't come back because he's a home run hitter. Yeah. That's all there is to it. He has so much heart and, and tenacity and desire, and we've seen that in his previous fights. He feels he's never out of the fight. Well, there it was again. He got, he got hit by that lead right hand from oh. Jose Cito, who's now pressuring Molina. Final minute, round three. Lena knocked down twice in the first round, including just 30 seconds in. Lopez is using that jab well. This is what he's supposed to do. You know, keep backing him up with the jab. Get him interested in the jab and then throw those combination punches. Double the left jabs by Lopez. I mean, to show you how good Lo Lopez is, Jose Cito, he was able to land on our good friend up in the uh, booth up there, Keith Thurman, the, the champ, that land that good left hook yes. to the body and to the head. So, you know, he's, it, it, it's not just Molina. He's, Jose Cito's really good at throwing that left hook. Three rounds in the books. Excited to enter the ring here and uh, the California natives. John Molina Jr. and Jose Cito Lopez. In fact, Molina wearing Kobe Bryant basketball shoes here at Staples tonight. Wow. This is round four, scheduled for 10. How have you scored the last two rounds, uh, Lennox, after the two knockdowns in the first round? Uh, it's, it's all Lopez right now for me. All right, back to Heidi in the Lopez corner. We'll check back in with Heidi shortly. 
Punch has landed 81-28 in favor of Lopez. Two minutes remaining in round four. Well, you've got a real animated Robert Alcazar in the corner of John Molina right now, literally standing up, waving Molina and telling him to put pressure on Jose Cito. In other words, to back up Jose Cito, but you can't back a guy up with your hand down that low. It's very dangerous. So if John put his hands up a little bit higher, I'd feel more comfortable. He almost got clipped with the good right hand coming in. But that's what he needs to do is back Jose Cito up a little bit. John, John Molina takes a great punch. Yeah. You know, he doesn't take it uh, square on the chin. He moves his head with the punch, so he's not he's not taking the full brunt of the punch, which is good. Well, I always told this John he had the head of, uh, the size of a mastodon, and he does take a good punch, and that's why I was able to send him in there like that. But again, it was a, a, a different style. He was more of a, uh, a sit-down style with the hands up and in real tight. So. Uh, you know, it's not something he can't do. He can do this right now to get back in the fight, but right now he's he's way down in this fight. Four rounds to, uh, or at least three rounds to zero. Uh, and Joe getting knocked down twice in the first round. What does that do to a fighter mentally? Well, it doesn't do anybody any good at all, um, obviously. But you know, in this game, you're you, you've got to you've got to be strong mentally, physically, and spiritually. And Molina is. He's been through it before. He's been down. He knows what it is. And these guys. They're, they're, they're fighters for a reason because they're able to get up off the canvas and win fights, or at least try to. And that's what he's doing right here. Yeah, nobody can say he doesn't have a big heart. He's got a big heart because when you think he's, he's hurt, he comes back crawling. He comes back, you know, looking to knock you out. So uh, he's, he's definitely a winner. He's not, yeah. not a person that's trying to, you know, lie down. I've had many fighters over the years that have been knocked down. It looked like the end was uh, nigh, and, and they've come back to win. So it's it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Good right hand that buckled Jose Cito from, from Molina. That was a really nice right hand by Molina. for the, the fifth round. Robert Garcia on the left. In the Lopez corner. <laughs> round five underway. Scheduled for ten. And now we check back in with Heidi. Thank you very much. All right, Robert, what have you told Jose Cito coming into this round? Jose is doing really good with the jab, so I want him to continue using the jab. We still have to be very careful because John Molina is a very, very dangerous opponent. He's always been very dangerous. He's a warrior, so we got to be careful. But I think we're in control, but that jab is the main thing. He's using the jab beautiful. I think he needs to continue doing it. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Heidi. And uh, Robert Garcia, like you, Joe, uh, knows John Molina very well. They used to work together. That's right. After John left my gym, he ended up with Robert Garcia. So John knows exactly what I know, and, uh, or Robert does. And John just landed a couple of nice shots on the inside right there on Jose Cito. There's a right hand, right uppercut, and a little left hook. So Robert Garcia is very aware of Molina's heart and tenacity and power. Molina stunned twice, knocked down twice in the first round by Lopez. Just under two minutes remaining in round five, scheduled for ten. We check in with our unofficial scorecard, Marcos Fiegas. Marcos. Kenny, I got it 40 to 34 because of the two knockdowns in round number one. I'm liking the activity of Jose Cito Lopez. He's using the jab and scoring really well. He's coming forward, landing big shots oh. like that that are catching the eyes of the judges. Oh. I have him up so far in this fight. All right, thanks, Marcos. You saw Molina come back with that big right yeah. hand. Well, that great, was great combination. Punch yeah. and right, it was five a beautiful Lopez. four and or five punch combination. And he had him up against the ropes, too. Yeah. But again, you, you know, once Molina gets used to getting hit, which he is right now, he came back, look, another little straight right hand. He's, he's not about to give up. No, never does. I mentioned earlier, Molina has rebounded. From every loss in his professional career with a knockout in his next bout. Good right hand that went right around the side of the glove of Jose Cito by Molina. And a good, another right hand left hook. Boy, oh, another right by Molina. Molina's starting, yeah. Molina's starting to gain a little confidence right now. Even though he's got to be careful because he's got his hands down low. 
But he's starting to gain some confidence here and backing up. And Jose Seco throwing that right hand at will right now. See, if Molina could follow up with a nice left hook after those right hands, he, he'd really be in business. It's just that he stops after those right hands. You'll, you'll see, like right there. He put a jab back out. Good body shots by Jose Seco being warned by the ref to keep him up. Here's, here comes John Molina coming in. And let's look at Lopez. This is this is the first round where he's coming out, and he started off with a right hand and ended up with with a body punch. This is some of the punches that he's been throwing. This is the body punches. Here's the jab. Overhand right, which Molina's not seeing at the moment. Moment, and Lopez is throwing. This is good work up at on the ringside, throwing the body punching. Yeah, here we go now. There's a here, now Molina landed that right hand. There's a good left hook right up that right hand. He landed that right hand about five, six times in that round and probably won that last round. But I think the first round that Molina's actually won in this fight. This is round six, scheduled for ten from Staples Center. Main event coming up later tonight. Welterweight unification. Errol Spence Jr., Sean Oh! Porter. Man, they're both landing big shots. Uh, Molina landed a great right hand left hook. Um, he's starting to really get some confidence going right now. Uh, he's starting to hunt down Jose oh, Zico. Big right by Lopez there. Up until that moment, but he came out like gangbusters. He won the last round, in my estimation. Now in the Molina corner, Heidi. Thank you very much, Robert. Coming into this round, I saw the energy in this corner change. What did you tell John Molina? Well, basically, that not to see too much. He's, he's stay is, is staying still too much. He needs to let his hands Ooh. go more just like that. He needs jabs, right hand, left hooks. That's, a, that's all what he needs. He needs to let go his ball hands more. He just needs to put it together. That's all what he needs. Thanks, Robert. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Howdy, Robert. Alcazar in the Molina corner. And kind of echoing what we just talked about, that Molina's got to follow up after the right hands. He said he's got to what? throw both hands. Well, every time he throws both hands, he's always got a little bit of success. So, you know, throwing one hand, he should throw in a combination oh. of punches, he should. Molina's landing some really good shots. I mean, if he starts catching up to Jose Cito and landing crisper, cleaner, and uh, shots that uh, Jose Cito doesn't see, he could turn this fight around. Just over one minute remaining in round six. Lopez knocked down Molina twice in the opening round of this fight. Former sparring partners. Both California natives. Good right hand by Jose Cito right there. It's not going to lead right hand. It's a great opening bout for this show. I got to tell you right now. It's because at any minute, either one of these guys could knock out the other. So they're they're both strong punchers. They're both clean punchers, and I like the fact that Molina's making an effort to come back to win this fight after it looking so dire and desperate in the first couple rounds. Yeah, Lopez is doing the right thing right now. He's being more of, a, of the boxer. He doesn't need to mix it up as, as much as he's, he's doing it, but he can keep this fight at long distance and win uh, comfortably. All right, six rounds in the books. Here at Staples Center in Los Angeles on pay-per-view. We take you back to this date in boxing history. September 28, 1976, Yankee Stadium. 
the scene for the third fight between heavyweight champ Muhammad Ali and the challenger Ken Norton during a New York City police strike and they had some fun yeah. prior to the bout. Check out the shoes. Yeah, Joe still wears those shoes today. I know, I got them out of your closet. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for letting me borrow them. <laughs> They're having fun though, right. look at them. That's so back in 1976 on this date, Ali and Norton. How about those shoes, Lennox? Listen, I don't wear shoes like that. No, that maybe. was the style back in the 70s. <laughs> I, I definitely had some platform shoes back then. That was okay. the 70s. Nice, uh -huh. nice, nice. All right. No. <laughs> they matched the bell bottoms, all right? So those are the shoes you used to go run jogging with? <laughs> so Lennox, you and Tyson never got together to take some publicity photos with uh, similar shoes? Let me tell you, you know, my promoter in England, uh, Frank Maloney, used to get me to do all kinds of different stuff and then stop doing Such it. Such as? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to tell anybody. <laughs> That's long in the past. This is round seven scheduled for 10. By the way, Ken Norton Jr. now the defensive coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks. Lovely. Great, great uh, ball player. What, what, UCLA, right? UCLA? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrific career in the NFL. Round seven. After Molina was knocked down twice in the first round, hanging in there against his former sparring partner, Josecito Lopez. Lopez has thrown and landed twice as many punches Ooh. as Molina. There's a right by Molina. That was a real sharp little right hand by Molina, but I, I got to tell you, Jose Zito's absorbing it real well. You got to remember, Molina really moved up from 40 to 47 just a few uh, months ago, a few fights ago. So this is a whole new division for him, and he's uh, he's fighting a bigger guy in Jose Zito. 147-pound weight class. Lennox, what's impressed you about Lopez tonight? Oh, just his poise. Like I said, he, you know, he's losing that job well. And uh, his punches are pretty crisp, straight. He's always he's always catching him with that right hand, and he elects to go to the body quite well as well. The only thing he's got to watch out for is the counter punching by John Molina, because, you know, he may seem like he's hurt, but he comes back and he, he, he doesn't seem like he got hurt from that punch. So you've been talking throughout the fight about the left hand of Molina keeping it down, and that still looks to be the case. Now pressure by Lopez. <laughs> so Molina was playing a little possum there on the in the corner. Uh, Jose Cito landed some really nice combinations there, and uh, Molina went into a shell and was looking to come out of there with a big punch, but by that time, Jose Cito was gone. Boy, a great body shot by Jose Cito just bringing it on, on Molina. Oh, there's a left by Lopez. Oh. Molina goes down. He was hurt from that first punch, and it was just a clipping punch Five, as well on the chin. With the left hook and then eight, the right hand ball. Yeah, messed up his equilibrium. Eight. Walk to me, John. Hands up. Walk to me. All right, one more time, bro. I'm going to yeah. call the fight. One more time. Let's go. You heard the referee, Ray Corona, said one more time, I'm calling it. Molina's been knocked down three times. Oh, oh. right by Lopez as the round comes to an end. Well, I'm going to tell you, I don't think it's far removed that uh, the corner might stop this fight if uh, any more of this goes on before the uh, referee or the doctor. I'm good. You're not throwing. You're not throwing. No, you know what? Stop it. They're going to stop it. Here, here's the replay is that short little left hook and let me tell you those short ones can really get to you then a jab right hand and he went down but before that hook jab right hand John got hit with a great liver shot which took his attention away from his chin and that's how he got clipped with that left hook and then eventually the right hand where he went down. Oh and here you see a good right hand by Lopez straight on the chin right before the bell double shot. Looked like the ref was walking in there to stop it. Yeah, I, they, I, I think they should stop the fight, to tell you the truth here. If, 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 if Molina doesn't. No, no, no. Let, let's get that. Let the doctor examine. Let the doctor. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Don't seem like you're fighting. No, no, no. 
Well, whether he's listening or not, I mean, Jose Cito is gonna is gonna throw a hard shot anyway. He knows Molina's been hurt, but you got to remember they're giving him this is about a minute and a half in the corner here, so it's a lot of recuperation time for Molina. But I, I, they wanted to stop the the fight. The doctor wanted to stop the fight in the corner. They talked him into it, giving him, uh, John one more round here. That. And this is round eight, scheduled for ten. Molina has been knocked down three times. And he was told by the referee Ray Corona one more time, and I will call it. Oh, oh been right by Lopez. Oh, oh good oh, left, left to the chin. But Molina's fighting back. He's got to let him fight if he's fighting back. Let me Don't. tell you, the ref is close. The ref is close. There he is. That will do it. See, you know, I don't know. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it wasn't going to end up well. There's no use getting those type of shots all the time. So I, I think that stoppage was good. I would have said if Molina wasn't punching back there, you're a hundred percent right. But as long as he was punching back, and he was punching back hard right there, yeah, he took a couple of shots. It's a very fine line. It is a fine line, but he could be punching and get punched at the same time, and then it looks bad. He did. I mean, they both yeah, got many times. They both got clipped right there at the end. But Molina obviously took more punches than Jose Cito. Yeah, he has a situation, you know, obviously this is his last law right now for Molina. He just wants to go out there and, and try and land something. But he's getting take, taken advantage of right now because, you know, obviously Lopez is, is catching him. Well, not yet he isn't. Well, with the jab, he's catching him. There well, he's catching him. Well, actually, he only landed one solid punch there, too. But Molina landed a good left hook there, came back with the right hand. He got pushed down. I'm not. Yeah, I mean that wasn't a bad yeah, stoppage. I mean, that was a good. That was a good stoppage. Joe, he's being, he's being taken right hands from the beginning of this no, fight. No, no, I agree with that. I agree oh, yeah. with that. Uh, it's just when a guy's fighting back. Well, you saw right there. Not all of those landed clean right there. Okay. So it, 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 look, I would have probably stopped the fight if I were in the corner last round. But if you're going to allow him to go back out, you know, let him fight until he gets a couple of good punches. It's clear that he he is not able to defend himself. And he was defending himself there. He blocked a few right hands. He came back, landed a left hook. I don't disagree with it. I don't disagree with it. But All right, time for the decision. As we head to the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 39 seconds of round number eight. A referee in charge, Ray Corona, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, the Riverside Rocky Josecito Lopez. 